So now the second type in deferral is of unearned revenue. So in this case, what is happening that you have not provided the service or the product to the customer, but the customer has paid you the amount in advance. So because you have actually not provided the good or the service and have collected the money in advance, this amount of money is a liability on you until and unless you provide the service or the product in return. So till that time period that you have actually provided um, the service, this revenue is unearned for you and it is a liability for you. So now let's see its example. So oh yeah. In this case, what is happening that you're going to record unearned revenue as a liability because you have collected the money in advance, but and now in return of that money, you need to provide something. So you need to provide a product or you need to provide a service to the customer. Till the time you have actually provided that thing, the amount of money is going to be a liability. For example, if you have a club, let's say, and you are um, taking the subscription free uh, fee of that club in advance. So you're saying that for the next one year, you can use the services of the club, but you will have to make this payment on January 1st. So that means that that amount of money is a liability for you till that person starts to use the club services. And once he starts to use the club services, you can then convert that liability that you had recorded initially into your um, revenue earned. So as the goods or services are provided, then in the income statement, you can record it as your revenue earned. So liability is as provided will be converted into your revenue. Now this is an example. On December 1st, Harvard Cat Co. agreed to rent space in Overnight's building to provide indoor storage for some of its cats. The agreed upon rent is 3000 per month and Harbor Cap paid for the first three months in advance. The journal entry to record this transaction on December 1st was. So this is not the adjusting entry. This is the actual entry that you will have to pass on December 1st. On December 1st, you have collected 3000 per month rent, which uh, is the rent for one month. And you have collected it for three months. So this is a per month. That means in total, you have collected 9,000. 3,000 is the rent of one month. And first three months, so that makes an advance of 9,000. And you have collected this rent in advance, but that person has still not you used your rent space. So till the time that person does not use your rent space, this is not a revenue for you. So right now, this amount of money is an unearned rent revenue, which is a liability that is increasing. And once a liability increases, we record it as credit. And you are receiving cash in advance, so cash will be debit. Now, this is not your adjusting entry. This is just the actual entry that you have recorded. Now, one month has gone by and December 31st. What should be the adjusting entry? Given in mind that you're converting liability into revenue. When you're converting liability into revenue, it means liability is decreasing. So liability is decreasing. That means liability should be recorded as debit. And on the other end, you're recording it as revenue. So your revenue is increasing and it should be recorded as credit. So you can see this is the entry. Unearned rent revenue, which is a liability, is declining, therefore debit. And we are recording it for one month. So 9,000 was the payment for three months. For one month, the amount will be 3,000. And rent revenue earned is now 3,000. So something is only your revenue once you have provided the service. That is the only thing you need to remember. If you have received the amount in advance, but have still not provided the product or service, then that amount is a liability for you. And as soon as you do provide that service, you need to convert that liability into your revenue. So you have to decrease your liability and increase your revenue amount. <coughs> okay, before we go to the third type, we'll do this practice question now. <coughs> 